Hello friends, this video on Amines part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll discuss some chemical reactions of amines. We'll talk about reactions with strong acid. We'll talk about alkylation. We'll talk about acylation. We'll talk about carbalamine reaction. We'll talk about oxidation. We'll also talk about reaction with nitrous acid. We'll talk about reaction with aldehydes. We'll talk about reaction with aryl sulfonyl chloride. We'll also talk about electrophilic substitution reactions. In electrophilic substitution reaction, we'll talk about bromination, nitration, and sulfonation. Let's start with reactions with strong acid. We'll now learn reaction with strong acids for amine. So if we have, for example, RnH2, this is my primary amine, one degree amine. You react with a strong acid, let's say HCl. This will attack this H plus, will form RnH3 plus Cl minus. And this is nothing but alkyl ammonium chloride. If you use bromine here, this becomes bromide. If you use iodine here, it becomes iodide. Similarly, for example, you use second degree amine, and let's a very general equation with HX. So this becomes R2 and H2 plus X minus. This is nothing but dialkyl ammonium halide. If we use a tertiary one, for example, R3N, react with some acid, it reacts, this becomes R3 NH plus X minus. This is nothing but trialkyl ammonium halide. Similarly, if you want to have a aryl, same thing. ARNH2, let's suppose one aryl amine, maybe aniline. You react with HX, you get ARNH3 plus NX minus. This is my aryl ammonium halide. Correct? So this AR, you can have a benzene here. This R1, R2, R3, you can have methyl, ethyl, or any alkyl group. And please note, these salts are water soluble. We have discussed that, that this is water soluble and this helps in purifying amines. And you can get back your amines back by reacting with the base. You have a strong base, you react, you get back your amine. In any of this case, you re react with OH minus, get back your base. Correct. The next reaction is alkylation. So amines undergo alkylation when treated with alkyl halides. We have alkyl halide, something like this Rx. For example, you have, let's suppose, uh, CH3 and H2. You treat with uh, C2H5 and Cl. This is my alkyl halide. So this what will happen is one hydrogen and one chlorine will go what you get is C2H5 and CH3 and H. Correct. You add again one more times some C2H5Cl. So this hydrogen will be replaced with C2H5. So it becomes C2H5 and C2H5 CH3. So we have seen this reaction actually. The way it works is this chlorine comes out, this nitrogen. This guy will attack this R and Cl goes off and H goes off. Right? This is called exhaustive alkylation reaction.
so we have seen I can show you for example RNH2 we have and we have CH3Cl chlorine slightly negative this gives slightly positive charge this attacks this carbon this Cl comes out so you get R with N H H and CH3 since CH3 comes here nitrogen gets a positive charge nitrogen doesn't like positive charge somebody has to go out hydrogen goes off so you get R N CH3 H and hydrogen comes out as H plus that is the reaction mechanism we have seen this kind of reaction the next is acylation let's talk about acylation reaction of amine so amines actually react with acid chloride or acid anhydride or esters by nucleophilic substitution reaction I'll show the reaction nucleophilic substitution reaction so here I have this in amine for example I have this hydrogen one of the hydrogen is replaced by acyl group here please note one of the hydrogen is replaced by acyl group and the output is amide so I have amine it reacts with either of these and output is amide and reaction takes place in a stronger base correct for example I have let's suppose C2H5 NH2 correct and this reacts with acid chloride for example CH3COCl what will happen is oxygen gets slightly negative charge carbon gets slightly positive lone pair of nitrogen will attack this carbon and this happens in the presence of a base you get what you get you get C2H5 NH right and this N will be linked to this carbon now CO and this will push this chlorine out correct and this nitrogen will develop a positive charge CO CH3 positive charge somebody uh, nitrogen is an electronegative element doesn't want positive charge somebody has to go off this H will say I'll go off so you get C2H5 and H CO CH3 and you have this HCl because H will come from here and CL will come from here HCl will be the output it will also be a part of product but since this is an equilibrium reaction you want to move the reaction forward so you want something to consume this HCl so we'll have this pyridine and there is a base actually which will consume this HCl so that the reaction moves in the forward direction and that is the reason why we're using base correct so let's have an hydride reaction and see how it works and please note that this is C6H5 and H2 yeah this is my again amine when you react with anhydride correct here also same thing will happen this will break this nitrogen node will attack here and this will break this bond so this will become c6h5 n h h since nitrogen is going to this carbon gets a positive charge and this becomes o ch3 and this whole thing comes out ch3 CO minus comes out and this H nitrogen has a positive charge doesn't like it because it's electronegative element this hydrogen will come out and will join this O minus so with this you get and with H CO CH3 and this becomes CH3 COH correct this H comes here this is the reaction mechanism for acylation reaction 
The next is carbamine reaction. This is only for one degree. I mean, both for aliphatic and aromatic. So, if you take any aliphatic or aromatic amine that has to be one degree, when you heat this with chloroform, right? That is CH. CL3, when you heat this with chloroform in presence of some ethanolic KOH, what you get is isocyanides and or carbalamine. And that's why it's called carbalamine reaction. Because the output is isocyanide or carbalamine. Please note this is only for one degree aliphatic or aromatic. So this is used to test one degree that is primary amine. The reaction is like this. You have RnH2 react with chloroform, ethanolic KOH, heat this, you get RnC and then KCl and some water. This is the reaction mechanism. Please note this is only for one degree. And this is used to differentiate between one degree or two degree and three degree amines. Correct. The next reaction is the oxidation of amines. So I have let's suppose my amine. You oxidize it what you get is CH3, CH2 and H, H with the oxygen here. This is called N-oxide of ethanamine. If it is methane, this will be N-oxide of methanamine. This product depends on the oxidizing agent used and also on the nature of alkyl. There is no reaction mechanism for this. I will not discuss much of this. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.